it was a fair and equitable package that delivers maximum saving to the taxpayers and still provides uh, for the covenant that we made with the hardworking county employees. The final version of the health insurance plan approved by the county board came from weeks of negotiations between the board and County Executive Rob Astorino. With a potential $160 million deficit next year, both were looking for ways to cut spending. Under the compromise, county workers making less than $60,000 would pay 10% of their health insurance cost. Workers paid between 60 and 120,000 would pay 15%, and anyone making more than $120,000 would pay 20%. Also, anyone with 30 years working for the county would be exempt. As Reno says, while he preferred a straight 15% contribution, he will sign the legislation when it gets to his desk. Every dollar saved is a dollar that can go towards uh, reducing the deficit, towards minimizing layoffs, uh, and is obviously giving taxpayer relief. The legislation right now only covers non-union workers, but the goal is to eventually include everyone who gets a paycheck from the county. Karen Pakora, president of the AFSCME unit representing most county workers, says going from no contribution to paying at least 10 percent is a little extreme. But I understand the difficulty that, you know, the county and um, the legislators were in. They need to save some money, and this is a way that they can find some savings. Bacora has mixed feelings about other elements of the package. She likes the early retirement buyout, but she does not think it fair to limit the amount of sick time the workers can build up prior to retirement. In any event, Bacora says her union is not willing to renegotiate its contract until it expires at the end of next year.